Welcome to MTS Vlogs. Today I'm here at Avi Trading for the review of the 2016 Lexus RX 200T. So everyone was asking for the Lexus RX. So here I came with the RX. So let's start the full in-depth review. So now let's start the full review. So first I'm going to show you these headlights. These are three projector setup full LED headlights with the daytime running lights here and fog lights. So first, let's show you the key of the RX. It's here and here. It's a premium level key. Now getting inside, turning on the headlights. It has keyless entry. Getting inside. Here we foot on the brake, pressing the start button. Car has been started. First light on with the fog. Hazards, full light on. This is for the high beam. This is for the high beam off. High beam, high beam. Now we're going to come out and show you the headlights. So these are the headlights for the Lexus RX. You can see these are three projector setups and the three are the high beams. These are the daytime running lights and these are swiping hazards. You have your fog lamps here and you have four sensors at the front with this massive Lexus grill. So if we come down, you can see this grill is open to get the airflow in for cooling the engine bay because the engine is at the front. You have the logo in the center, you have this front camera, and you have four sensors at the front number plate slot with all the trading number plate then you have this, this chrome treatment that is fully covering the grill and you could see it has a very cool design in the rx you can get another version of this that is the f sport a picture is going to be here for that but today we're reviewing the non f sport so now let's check out the engine so now let's show you the engine bay of this car so for that we have to open the driver's side and there's a hood opener here and there. So in the RX, you can get two grades for the engine. First is the RX 300H, that is the hybrid version. And then we have the more powerful turbo version. So this is the RX 200T. So it has a two liter four cylinder single turbo with 235 horsepower and 350 Newton meters of torque. It sends the power to the four of the wheels and it has a six speed single clutch transmission. So this car is wide is so the wide of the car is 1850 mm and the 0 to 60 time is just around 6.7 seconds. So it's a reliable engine because it's a Toyota engine. So this is very reliable. You can get this car and just look at the engine cover. You can see it's really goodly covered and amazing way to cool the turbos. You can see these vents are open for cooling the turbochargers a single turbo so one turbo charge and then you have insulation and the hood and obviously you get hydraulic struts because this is a premium level car if you come closer you can see turbo written and lexus and then you have your engine oil placement here and your more fluids now if we close the engine bay you have to just get it closer and boom there you go now let's show you the side profile so now we're on the side profile the length of this car is 4890 mm and the turning radius of this car is 11.88 meters. So this wheel, these are 235 55R20s and these wheels are very cool looking. You can see there are white bits here to contrast with the exterior color. And you have black over here that contrast with this and the mirror caps. You can see very good brakes and you have your normal brakes inside and it has adaptive dampers at the front that you can change your modes at from inside. Now, if we get up from here, you can just see the aerodynamic body, so the air can fully pass from here. Then you have chrome treatments here that all the way go to the back, rain shades because this is the Japanese domestic model, and the mirror. These have blind spot monitoring and a hazard light here and a camera here. So, the wheelbase of this car, to so the front wheels, to the rear wheels, how much gap you have, it's 1890 mm, and the ground clearance of this car is 189 mm. So it's a decent amount of ground clearance. Getting inside, you have these sharp angles here for getting the air pass and for good looks. You have these side skirts, these are in chrome and it looks good. Now, if we show you the doors, if you guys come a little closer, you have this C-pillar window. So why is this here? This is for the car to look good. So the window starts from the front and it contracts with the rear window. This is actually a good looks for this car. That's why people buy the RX over the NX. 
And the rear wheels are also the same because these are the, this is a four wheel drive car. And that's it for the rear. You have this sharp angle also that all the way continues to the front. Now I'll show you the beautiful rear. So now we're on the rear of the car. First, I'm going to tell you the height of this car. So it's 1,690 mm, and I'm going to show you the tail lights of this car. So these are full LED tail lights for the Lexus RX. Getting inside, turn on the tail lights. There we go in. Foot on the brake, pressing the start button. Car has been started. Full light on with the hazards and the reverse. With the reverse camera, it has adaptive guidelines and a 360 degree camera. Putting it back to park and coming outside. So these are the full rear tail lights for the Lexus RX. You can see it has swiping hazards, that's full LED rear tail lights and your reverse lights. It's actually a very nice design for the Lexus RX. Then you have the chrome treatment that attaches two headlights at the center. You have the logo. If this was the 300H, this would be the blue color, but this is black because this is the non-hybrid. Then if we come down, you have the number plate slot with two lights and the reversing camera. You have Lexus written and RX 200T written here. And you have four sensors at the front, four sensors at the back. And then you have this cool diffuser look with exhaust surrounds, but you have two real exhaust tips, one here and one there. So no fakery from Japan. And yeah, now let's check out the boot. So now let's check out the boot. So for opening it, just press here. It's a power tailgate, when to get up automatically. So the boot space is 453 liters over here, but if you fold down the rear seats, it's much more. So for folding the rear seats, you have to do it from here. So one, two, after folding the rear seats, it takes some time. There you go, it's folded. So now you have 942 liters of space. You have a puzzle cover. So before I open the puzzle cover, let's get the rear seats up. So for getting that up, just press this two. And then there it comes back. Then you have a parcel cover to put your tissue boxes or stuff like that here. And for getting the parcel cover up there and there, there you have a parcel cover. So in here you have some storage. Let me show you that. Let's get the parcel cover back there. You have a little storage with Lexus logo floor mats is written here. And then if we get this up and open this because this is the non-hybrid, you have some storage down here with the wheel locks of the car. So I'm gonna get this down. Over this side, you have a light, and also on that side, and you have some triggering points. There, that's it for the boot. And you have this rear subwoofer here. Now, if you close the boot, you have to do it the same way. You have to powerly close it, and there it closes. There you go, we're done. Now, let's show you the rear seats. So now we're on the rear seats. So first I'm going to turn on all the room lights that we have here. So the rear seats, it's a 6040 distribution. It is very comfortable and it is powerly adjust too. So you can adjust the backrest, getting it back, getting it up, however you want. And then if we get the center armrest down, there you have some cup holders. And then if you get this up, you have some storage that you can put your remote for the rear screen. So I'm going to keep that in and put this back, get this up. The rear seats are really comfortable. You have the door here, you have your blinds there. And then if you want to see outside, you can just get the blind down. And then the window down. The rear window is privacy glass and it all the way goes down. Good job, Lexus. And you have these rear screens. You can put, listen to FM and SD card and everything. You have rear heated seats too on this car. So the rear seats are heated. And then if you get this down, you have your volume, your HDMI for your, your screens. Getting this up, you have a power outlet here, a rear power outlet, so you can get your PS4 here. And then if you get this down, this is your 12 volt charging socket. And two AC vents in the center with pocket holders here. So if I come in the center seat, it's not 
that bad it's actually really comfortable in the center too now let's show you the door so these are the door you can see you have full leather with red stitching and soft touch everywhere till here and you have this ambient light here that all the way goes to the door handle and comes back that's a really good job from Lexus. You have your speaker Twitter here, and you have your main speaker down here, and a one cup holder with a light here. So at night, when you open the door, you can see down where you're stepping. Now, let's close the rear door. Let's show you the front. So now let's show you the interior. So let's start up the car first. And it's really hot, so I'm gonna turn on the air con first. There. So the steering wheel. There is a half foot, half leather steering wheel, and it has red stitching inside, but you're missing on paddle shifters. And it is a telescopically adjustable, so it comes to you, it goes down, it goes up, and then it goes back. In the center, you have the Lexus logo with the horn, you have volume up and down, you change track, mode, voice command, call receive, call cut, this is for the center screen, this is for cancel, this is for go to file, this is for lane keep assist, this is for the sensors off, and you have your cruise control down here. And the steering wheel is actually really light, like I love it. Then we come here. You can see there are two AC vents at the center, and you have a watch. So it actually lights up when you turn on the headlights. So you have a nice Lexus watch in the center, then you have the hazards button, your AC vent off and on, then you have this is for your sound or this is for your volume this is for change track and then you have controls for the infotainment system and then they show you the climate control so this this car has a two-zone climate control so here and here and then you have all your buttons here and it actually comes on infotainment your wind speed and everything air in air out for the ec everything your windshield wiper heaters and windshield wi windshield heater then this is it. It's a very cool design for the dashboard. It all the way goes till there, soft touch leather used. You have this cool treatment with another AC vent. If we get this down, you have your glove box. It's huge. Then getting this up, you have to just look at the dashboard. It has such a good design. Then this part starts from here, all the way comes here to this wooden treatment. So what is this? This is your drive mode. So you have eco, you have comfort, you have sport or sport plus it comes here eco you have your normal comfort sport sport plus so i'm going to leave it on eco then you have your traction control and auto start stop off and your all buttons two cup holders if you press here it goes down there if you press this it comes back up so if you have a larger coffee then this is the full control for the media system that I'm going to show you a little later. So you can control it from here. This is your glove box. It doesn't open that much, but you have a USB socket here and an aux. And then you have a full socket with a lot of storage. There you go. Now let's show you the infotainment. So now let's show you the infotainment. This is a 12.7 inch infotainment system from Lexus and it is decently good. So you have all your media controls, your volume, your TV, your phone, your all the G4s, your aircon. So if you want aircon, you have your AC vent, you have your you have your wind speed, you have your temperature, you have where you want the air to be, your eco heat cool on, your dual climate control on, your AC on, or just put it on auto. So if you get out from this, then you have your more controls. If we go first, this is the navigation. It's not working in Bangladesh. Then we have your audio that's off now. Then you have your phones. Then this is for all your trip information. And then this is for getting it out. And then you have your climate control here too. So there you can see, it is a simple look. You can control your Bluetooth and listen to songs there. And it just tells you like which mode you're in. And that's it, nothing that much. So yeah, and now if we come here, we forgot to show you the gear knob. So this is the full gear knob of the car. So if you put it on reverse, the reversing camera comes down and it has, it doesn't have adaptive guidelines, I don't know why, but it has a 360 view there. If we go, where's the touchpad? If you go here, it's actually hard to use the system. So this is just the back and this is the full 360 back and this is with the 360 camera. Now, neutral, drive, 
you have the front camera with your 360 view and then if you press here you have manual upshift and downshift from here but you don't have paddle shifters so putting it back to park you have your controls here so for that i have to get the car in neutral again so you have your ventilated seats so here ventilated seats and you have your heated seats so there this is actually a cool thing for this car you have both there and then if i put it back to park you have the handbrake here okay you guys can see that so there you have the handbrake here with auto and your auto hold and then you have a little phone holder here but you don't have a wireless charger you have a 12 volt socket and that's it for the full dashboard so now let's show you the rpm of the car so let's start up the car it is fully analog and i like it so it says rx in the center this is your rpm it red lines at 6000 rpm this is for your engine temperature this is for your fuel gauge this is the speedo the top speed is 260 kilometer per hour this is for your parking sensor this is for the headlights there this is for your seatbelt warning this is for your parking brake in the center you have a screen that you can control from here so you have settings like all your displays and everything and you also have a heads-up display on this car so i'm going to show you the heads-up display a little later everything's in japan but if you buy this car they're going to translate it to english so you have your all systems here and the cool feature that i love, like about this rpm is when you put it on sport it turns a little red in sport plus it goes f like full red you can see it's written down here it's sport sport eco sport sport plus or just normal there this is for the rpm it's a very cool design and when you turn off the car the steering goes up and it's done so now let's show you the heads-up display so if you start up the car the heads-up display comes up there so you have the outside temperature you have the speed you have which gear you're in you have the rpm in the center so there and then you have your lane keep assist this is it it's a simple heads-up display system and that's it now let's show you the door so for that we have to open the door handle there and let's show you the door so you have three memory function you have your door handle here you have this wooden treatment and this treatment here full leather if you get this here you have some storage your bottle holders you have the light you have a speaker and there is actually air coming out of this the air goes in here it comes out of here very cool engineered window controls lock and unlock window locker your outside rear view mirror controls and that's it for the car now if you guys come here again you have some auto headlight your boot your heads up display your heated steering wheel and your full camera system get this down you have some storage and that's it for this car now we are fully done with the review so let's turn off the car get the key and let's go so if you're not subscribed yet do hit the subscribe button do hit the like button if you need this car contact with avi training their facebook page is going to be at the description if you need any type of car european cars to japanese domestic models they have everything see you at the next review peace